when you're looking for a game to pass the time, but there aren't any huge titles coming out anytime soon? Well, that's what happened to me when I got Majin and the Forsaken Kingdom. It looked colorful enough, and was something different from the usual games I played. Now, it's rare to pick up a game you like at random, but that's what happened with this one. It was an absolute joy to play through. The game was released in November of 2010 in North America and January 2011 in Japan. The company, Game Republic, developed the game and Namco Bandai published it. Unfortunately, the developing company was shut down only five months after its Japanese release, destroying any hopes in releasing the soundtrack to this game, which pisses me off immensely due to the awesome music played throughout the game. The story is pretty simple. The once prosperous kingdom has fallen into the darkness, and evil creatures began to emerge from the abandoned lands. Did people leave it alone as it seethed with shiny black monsters? Nope! The lands attracted those who wished to explore the ruins and uncover the truth behind the darkness. Because why not? Unfortunately, most of the people who entered never returned, but this doesn't stop our youthful main character, later named Tepeu, from entering and risking his life to find the guardian of the kingdom known as the Majin, a mystical beast of derpy qualities and has the ability to purify the darkness. However, he has lost all of his powers, so you must travel across the lands of the fallen kingdom and regain his powers, and memories apparently, so he can destroy the evil darkness and restore the kingdom to its former glory and unlock the Majin's past. I know what you're thinking. A very cliché story, right? Well, yes. God, yes. But if you haven't played too many cliché stories, it can't be cliché, can it? Anyways, I didn't mind it. I wanted something simple and easy, no super plot twists like certain games. Not that plot twists are bad or anything. Anyways, the gameplay is that of an action platformer game with puzzles. You control Tepeu, the human guy, and you can only give commands to the Majin, who is basically the puzzle solver of the game, as you direct him to lift up gates, shoot lightning at stuff, or whatever else. It can get frustrating directing the enormous beast, and you hear the same kind of stupid quotes like, I make lightning! Yes, I know. You said it many times before. The combat is more action-y with a bunch of button smashing. However, you can combine your fighting with the Majin to perform awesomely flashy, explodey moves that just make you feel so hype! <laughs> There are some unique gameplay mechanics for this game. Tepeu's damage isn't a health bar, but the amount of darkness on his body. You might think this is hard to gauge, but it's really easy to see the black sludge covering his body. It starts from his feet and works his way up to his head, so that's when you know you need to get this shit off your body or you'll die! The Majin will come in and purify the darkness off your body and will warn you if you're at risk of dying. The Majin is not immune to the enemies either, as they will latch onto his back and try to harm him. This is where you come in to twat them off his back in order to free him. This gets so fucking annoying at times. Though all in all, it's not a hard game, and I didn't die once. That's saying something since I always die in games for the stupidest reasons. As I mentioned before, the music in this game is just brilliant, and I'm so sad that I won't be able to buy the soundtrack. The composer for this game has not done too many game soundtracks, and is most famous for Gundam Seed and Seed Destiny's soundtrack, which is so different to this game, Fantasy Magic Land vs. Huge Ass Robots. The music just fits with the setting and story, and was most effective when uncovering the Majin's backstory, which played a light melody with a silhouette story. It kind of reminded me of the chapter breaks in Fragile Dreams. If you want an easy game with color and lights and a derpy motherfucker that follows you, who is actually kind of cute in a stupid way, then this is a great game for you. The puzzles can get a bit much at times, what with transporting the huge beast around to shoot lightning at a small spot. The story is cliche as hell, but the gameplay is just pure fun. Also for you achievement and trophy hunters, this game is incredibly easy to finish completely. I didn't even try and I got them all. Just get this game for the fun of it. You won't regret it. If you plan to play this game, get all the fruit that improves the Majin's abilities. It's not necessary, but it makes fights way more easier and way more fun. Enjoy!